okay so very good evening welcome all welcome uh, today we are going to learn how we can earn trading in options of course i am not going to uh, share the technique per se but i'll be giving you a fair idea uh, about the opportunities and what are the various ways we can earn in options uh so how we can earn in options so before we go to how we earn in options i am going to take you through what is options and today we are going to cover call options so there is uh, two options call options put options i'll be taking you through today uh, call options and then next week tuesday i'll be uh, taking you through the put options so that way we will be completing the series uh, futures uh, i have shared last week how many of you were there in the uh, webinar for futures last week can i have yes if you are there futures webinar yes okay great thank you so welcome once again to the webinar today for call options uh, let's move forward now uh, before i go uh, go ahead uh, this is a disclaimer so uh, please understand before you trade in options after attending this webinar if you are new in stock market uh, so don't straight away go and start trading in options even for a play money okay first understand options properly and trade under proper guidance for the options it's highly leveraged uh, instrument and may cause unlimited losses to the trader so if you don't know in depth about options i'm not trying to make you afraid but i'm at least making you cautious that okay don't trade unnecessarily to experiment first understand few basic things if you have any doubts uh, you can send me a message i'll clarify if possible uh, but go and trade under guidance only in options so you should know some nitty fine points about the options trading this is the disclaimer so how do you earn in shares let's just understand why options is so attractive for, to many people so it is said that once you start trading in options you don't feel like trading in shares or investing in shares that is how attractive the option is in shares you earn you buy and when the price goes up you earn so you have to buy at a lower price sell at a higher price that is the only way you can earn money in shares how many of you agree don't bring in intraday but this is how it is done right if you are holding it for more than one day in india you need to buy at a lower price and sell at a higher price how many of you agree yes great so it is a one directional earning uh, you buy at one level and sell at a higher level so that is the only way now for futures future and options are derivatives i explained in last week in futures your view about direction of underlying is correct and you trade accordingly you are rewarded by the market so it is not that you earn only when the market is going up in future trading you can buy at a lower price sell at a higher price if your view is bearish you can even sell first buy later and earn money so futures has got double opportunity than shares trading so i will say shares is a unidirectional or one dimension trading futures is two dimension one while you can trade while going up and earn money another is you can trade while it is going down and still earn money by futures trading in options how you can earn money in options trading and that's why it is a multi dimensional like we had a movie recently right uh, from marvel doctor strange in multiverse so options trading is like a multiverse trading where share price is going up so you can buy options to earn money or you can sell options to earn money it is not necessary you can take either position share price is going down you can still buy options to earn money or you can sell uh, sell options to earn money share share price is not going anywhere it is only moving there itself sideways not neither going up neither going down it is same range same band it is moving you can sell options and earn 
markets are anxious there is a news which is about to come uh, election results or some uh, thing or the agm is happening for the company the share market is anxious kya hoga kya nahi hoga ukraine war russia war market is anxious you can sell options and earn money markets are not at all anxious it's a boring market nothing is happening it's dull life in that mood also you can buy options and earn money create a combo pack by buying and selling of options irrespective of market direction and earn money you might be surprised that if you are holding uh, let's say a stock worth of uh, 10 lakh rupees plus uh, in the stocks which are traded in futures you can as well collect rent from the market so it is not only that we need to get the dividend from the shares we are holding dividend is given by the company but if you are learning options if you are holding shares more than 10 lakh rupees worth in the segment where the fno is traded you can even collect rent on that money on the, those shares just hold on why it is showing unstable okay okay i understand now okay so is my uh, voice clear is it okay is the voice clear can i have yes am i audible cracking now still cracking better okay because i was little bit on a bad network so uh, just let me repeat how you can earn in options in options trading if the share price is going up you can buy options to earn money or you can sell options to earn money uh, if share price is going down you can buy options or you can sell options to earn money price is not going anywhere it is in a band you can sell options and earn markets are anxious about the some news some uh, war something is there markets becomes anxious you can sell options and earn money markets are not anxious you can buy options and earn create a combo pack by buying and selling options irrespective of market uh, condition or you can take rent from the market for the stocks you are holding and take subsidy from the market before you actually buy share so uh, like we hear the government is giving subsidy to maybe farmers or something who is taking care of uh, buyers of the share in options world and the last point is being used like uh, in a big way by warren buffet how many of you have uh, heard about warren buffet buffet i think yeah warren buffet anyone has heard warren buffet uses the last line he takes subsidy from the stock market before he actually buys share so his stocks are already subsidized when he is buying and he does it by uh, trading in options so you can also take subsidy from the stock before buying the shares which are listed in derivative segment so these are all the possibilities so that's why share is a unidirectional futures is bidirectional optional is multi dimensional trading uh, possibilities so lakshmi is asking what is subsidy you have subsidy right uh, cylinder pay subsidy they say that there is no subsidy on cylinder which is removed then there is subsidy on uh, fertilizer like uh, it is uh, government gives some money uh, on a discount the government will give discount right so same way you can do okay so <laughs> okay so electric vehicle there is a subsidy on electric vehicle so you can take once you know options you can take a subsidy from market from actually buying the shares now uh, let's understand uh, uh, what is uh, call option so i am going to explain you uh, what is call options by taking you through a example so can i have yes from all of you if you are ready to understand what is call options can i have yes 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 i want at least 50 yes before we go ahead 
Yes? Okay, great, great. So I will take you through a story. I'll take you through a story uh, to make my point of call options. So be with me. Uh, uh, when I narrate the story, you like you visualize, you imagine, you think, you feel that story, what is happening so that you'll be understand, able to understand the call options in a much better way. Fine. So as I'm narrating the story, you should be with me. You should be visualizing with me. So I'll go slow uh, and narrate the story. Now, let's assume for hypothetically, let's assume that today, today's date is 1st of December 2020. So this is our first assumption. Today is 1st December. Then Mr. A, there's one boy, Mr. A, handsome boy, wants to buy a diamond ring for his girlfriend on her birthday. Luckily, her girl, uh, his girlfriend's uh, birthday also falls on 31st December. So it's a New Year Eve as well as birthday also. So he is planning to buy a diamond ring for her on her birthday and surprise her. Yellow ring, diamond ring on the New Year's occasion so that New Year is memorable. Now, as on 1st December, because today's date is 1st December, right? We all agreed that 1st December, as of today, the diamond ring cost is 5 lakh rupees as of now. Okay. Mr. A is not having enough money today. On 1st of December, he is not having enough money to purchase the ring. He is not having 5 lakh rupees, but he is going to get bonus by 31st December of 5 lakh rupees. His company has given him letter that, okay, you are eligible for the bonus. You'll be getting new year bonus of 5 lakh rupees on 31st of December. So he is going to get 5 lakh rupees on 31st of December. He has enough money. Don't think he has paisa nahi Why he wants to buy a diamond ring? Don't think he wants to buy. It is his wish. So <clears throat> he is going to get bonus 5 lakh rupees with which he will be able to buy the ring. Now, he has been analyzing the charts of diamond, the price action of the diamond. And he analyzed for some four or five years earlier. And he, he is of a strong view that by 31st December, uh, as uh, the new year Eve will arrive, the diamond ring will become costlier. It will become costlier. It might cost him 5,45,000 or 5,50,000 by the time he goes to buy. Now his challenge is he is getting bonus of 5 lakh rupees. He is having few thousand in his pocket. He will not be able to buy the diamond ring even if he gets the bonus on 31st of December. So this is his situation right now. So he wants to do something right now. Is everyone with me? Is everyone with Mr. A's dilemma? What is his challenge? What he wants? What is his view? And what is his limitation? Can I have yes from all of you? If you are with me and you, if you are with Mr. A, don't think why he is buying. He wants to buy. But otherwise you are okay, right? Okay. Now, second character in our story there is a diamond merchant there is a diamond market there is a diamond merchant mr d mr d is diamond market uh, still we are on 1st of december uh, and he has the ring which is worth 5 lakh rupees there now his view is his view is uh, that diamond ring price will not go up though historically it has been going up in the month of uh, December he always also aware but somehow being in the market he has an opinion he has a view that the diamond price will not go this year up here it will stay at 5 lakh only or might come down also so fine everyone is okay with Mr. D, diamond merchant's point of view and what he thinks about the uh, will happen to the price of diamond. Everyone okay? Can I have yes? 
so we know both the characters their requirement their view of diamond price in the near future okay then again i am repeating a view price will definitely go up he is very bullish about the diamond price uh, it will be greater than 5 lakh rupees this view is ki theek hai yaar agar gaya to bhi 1000 2000 1000 2000 rupees it will go up otherwise it will not go up much it will remain at 5 lakhs only so they have difference of view of about the price which is going to be on 31st of december so they are having a difference of view about the price action that happens in the market that's why people buy and sell now a visits mr d so on 1st of december a visits d he goes and sees the ring and he finalizes one ring of 5 lakh rupees so d asks him ki boss kya kare pack kar de isko le jaoge abhi to ha pack kar dijiye and as soon as he packs and he gives it to a and says okay pay me 5 lakh rupees a says nahi 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 i don't have money right now but you please keep this in the packed condition for me i will come on 31st pay you 5 lakh rupees and take the ring now this fellow will definitely get angry was pura you took full one hour of my time you went through the complete rings now you have finalized this ring of 5 lakh rupees now instead of buying right now you are asking me to keep it and you will come on 31st and pay 5 lakh rupees so a says this is my girlfriend's birthday is there on 31st i'll come on uh, 31st i'll pay you 5 lakh rupees and i will take the ring from you i am sure going to come so d says see boss uh, this is a diamond market the prices go up and down i cannot assure you or guarantee you that you will get this ring for 5 lakh rupees only the price changes so you come on 31st whatever is the price you can pay and you can take the ring on 31st i cannot say that i'll sell this for 5 lakh only for you so a says no 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 mr d you will have to promise me that you will give it to me at 5 lakh rupees only at 30 on on 31st you have to promise me that uh you will give this ring to me at 5 lakh rupees only because a has a strong view that it is going to go up d thinks okay it will remain at the same level so now d says okay if you want a promise from me listen to me carefully everyone listen this is very very important now d says to a if you want my promise agar mera vaada chahte ho so you will have to pay the price of my promise so how much he asked him how much i have to pay he says uh, you will have to pay around 5000 rupees that, that is how it is decided in our diamond stock market this 5000 rupees you have to pay to for me to give you a promise now a said remember uh, listen to this a asked d if i give this 5000 rupees now will this be adjusted in that 5 lakh rupees are you taking a advance from me for that ring that okay you give me advance 5000 so that you will give me the ring at 5 lakh rupees merchant says no this is not the advance this is the own money for buying the promise you are taking a promise from me you are taking the right from me you are only buying a right from me to buy the ring at 5 lakh rupees so when you come on 31st you will have to give 5 lakh rupees anyway you will have to give me 5 lakh rupees this 5000 is only the promise to lock the price at 5 lakh rupees so everyone note this 5000 which mr d is asking it will not be adjusted in the 5 lakh rupees it is 5000 rupees is a additional 5000 only to give promise how this promise will be executed so they sign a contract they bring in a paper a piece of paper pura wo notary vitri ka apna paper leke aate hain and then on it it is written that a is paying the premium of 5000 rupees 
and he has a right that when he comes on 31st December to D, D will, when he comes on 31st December with 5 lakh rupees, D will take that 5 lakh rupees and give this ring to him at 5 lakh rupees. Now there is a contract. On that contract, what is written? Pay attention. On that contract, it is written whoever brings this piece of paper or whoever brings this contract will give 5 lakh rupees to D and D will give the ring to that person. On that paper, A's name is not written. It's only written that whoever the bearer of this contract, if he comes to D and gives him 5 lakh rupees, he will give him the ring. That is a contract. So it has the address of D. It has the family name of D. It has D's dog name, address, phone number, email ID, everything. All details for D are there. Nothing for A is there. He is only having the paper. So he and there is only one copy of that contract. How many copies? One. And that copy is given to A. So that contract is given to A. A pays 5000 to D. So what has happened is that contract is given to A. A has given premium to D. So we can say, can we all imagine that there is a, a transaction going on? The paper is given to A. A gives money, 5000 rupees to D. So there is exchange of money and the contract. Can we say there's a buying and selling of promise has happened that D has sold his promise. Usne apna zaban bech di 5,000 rupees. 5,000 rupees apni bech di. He has sold his promise for 5,000 rupees. That paper is signed and given to A. A has given, right? Okay, so D collects the premium of 5,000 and obliged to deliver on receiving 5,000 on 31st December to Mr. A. So right now, it is said like explain the contracts. So key points, A and D entered into contract for locking the strike price. What they have entered in contract is they have locked the price of the ring, the striking price. When I say strike price, I'm just saying strike price because that is a actual language they have locked the strike price of diamond ring that is at 5 lakh rupees a paid premium to buy the right to buy the promise for paying only the 5 lakh rupees only the strike price for underlying on expiry day d collected the premium to keep his promise to honor the contract on expiry as of 1st december Tell me, has the transaction of diamond happened right now? Has the transaction of diamond happened right now? No, right? Diamond is not traded. It's not traded right now. It's only what will be the, when will the transaction of diamond happen? When will the tra transaction of diamond happen? 31st. Correct. 31st only transaction of diamond will happen at 5 lakh rupees. Now, what happened today? On 1st of December, what has happened is the contract is traded. The promise is traded. The contract is traded. Correct. Only uh, D signed a contract. A paid him the premium. So now we are in a situation. A has the paper in his pocket. D has money in his pocket. A goes to his home. D is at any way at his shop. Now, call option trading. Now I'll come to the definition and then I, we will go through some basics and I'll take you through some live examples also. Call options trading is buying and selling of right. What happened just now? The call options trading is a buying and selling of a right. So A has bought the right. He has purchased the right. He has purchased the promise for he has bought a right of buying a underlying at agreed strike price on expiry. So he has agreed. He has bought. Ki boss, ye mera right hai, ye mera hak hai. 
that I will pay you five lakh rupees on thirty first and take the ring. When buyer pays the premium to get the right for uh, paying only the agreed strike price for the underlying on contract expiry day, it is said he or she is a buyer of call option. So he has gone for a call option as he bought the right. When seller collects the premium, here Mr. A is a buyer of the call option. When the seller collects the premium, he is obliged because he has promised, he has sold his promise. He is obliged to deliver underlying at strike price on contract expiry date. It is said he is the seller of call options or it is also said he is a writer of the call options. You might hear a word called a lot of call writing is happening. You might hear, do you hear this word in uh, on TV channels? A lot of call writing is happening. A lot of uh, options writing is happening as this price, strike price. So now because D has written that contract and given to A, no. So he is writing the contract. So D is writing the contract. A is buying the contract. So those who write the contract are sellers of options. Those who pay the premium are the buyers. So that's why they say call writing is happening or put writing is happening because the seller of the contract writes the contract. He writes his phone number, telephone number, name, address, uh, kid's name, neighbor's name, dog's name, everyone's name. He will write on the contract and give. So he's a writer of the option. Now, as the current market price of two uh, and one was signed so that transaction underline with the strike price at 31st, it is called add the money. Okay, so this is one more word which is called add the money. Uh, current market price was 5 lakh. Uh, the what was entered into contract was also at 5 lakh. So it is called add the money. As you understand the options, you will understand why it is called add the money out of the money in the money as you will progress. Now, <clears throat> We have understood the current market price of diamond is 5 lakh rupees. Strike price is price agreed in the contract. Contract is bearer of contract has the right to buy the strike price. Execution date of the contract is 31st December. Premium paid is buyer has paid the premium. Buyer has the right, seller has obligation, call options. We have understood purchase of right to buy underlying at strike price uh, and selling of underlying by the buyer. So far so good. Can I have yes from all of you if you are with me with the story and you have understood all this terminology? Only five, six people have understood. Okay, great. Okay, great, great, great. Thank you. Now, now let's say what happens. Okay, this is, we have understood why it is coming. Okay, now fast forward, fast forward. We are on 31st of December and the day has come when this contract will be executed. Now, what I will do is I will like, uh, have you seen the movies which run in loop? So they go ahead, many English movies are there. They go ahead and then again, they are in a loop. Then again, the story starts in the beginning. Again, the loop happens. I think there is a movie also named loop only. How many of you have seen such movies? It will run in loop, right? The loop will be played again and again and again. Same way, I will run this story again and again. Uh, and we will see what are the different scenarios with regard to this contract. Let's say in the morning of 31st December, A opens the newspaper. He sees, okay, diamond ring, the price of the diamond ring, which he has booked for 5 lakh rupees by paying 5,000 rupees is now worth 7 lakh rupees. Something has happened drastically and the price has shot to 7 lakh rupees. Will he be happy or will he be sad? Will A be happy or A will be sad? He sees 7 lakh. But he has already logged the price to 5 lakh rupees. He, is, he will be very happy. 
because he is the buyer he is having the contract he has right to execute what he will do is he will take that paper he will call all his friends he will call the uh, neighbor ka some strong fellow also ki you also come with me we have to go to d and collect the ring for 5 lakh rupees because now it is 7 lakh rupees i will take you all thoda mere taraf se chai nashta bhi ho jayega uske baad so uh, it is now 7 lakh rupees so he is super happy so what can we say by entering into contract of 5000 rupees he entered into contract of 5000 rupees he bought a call option right he bought a call option by entering into contract a call option and by paying a premium of 5000 rupees he was able to no earn 195000 rupees he was in profit of 195000 rupees can i say this way yes how about others yes so he was super happy happy then he will maybe he'll call his girlfriend also dekha i had that i had analyzed and it went up and sabko batayega wo now obligation to execute now he has merchant d has a obligation to execute now uh, okay someone said nitin said no he is not in profit of 195000 so see it may so happen that he breaks away with his girlfriend he buys it for 5 lakh or side ke shop mein 7 lakh mein he can sell it and have a profit of 195000 nitin is that okay with you for imagining the profit abhi apan break up nahi karwa rahe but to just to understand how he is in profit of 195000 he can go to d he can buy it he has to pay only 5 lakh rupees as per the promise he pays 5 lakh rupees he has already paid 5000 rupees he has already paid 5 lakh 5000 rupees he goes to the next shop sells the same ring for 7 lakh rupees he is in profit of 1 lakh 95000 so can we say ki 5000 ke contract se he is in profit of 1 lakh 95000 d on other hand he is obliged to execute so he has to execute the uh, contract because it is na- his name is written address is written his dog's name is written his dog will get angry if he is not executing the contract so everything is written on the contract he has to uh, execute the contract because it is assured by the diamond stock exchange so he collected 5000 but if he would have not entered into contract he would have not lost 195000 uh, by entering into that contract everyone okay so far so good okay now second rewind rewind back to morning in the morning let's say a opens the newspaper again we have gone to the morning ha huh? so pehla story khatam pura day rewind karke we are again back to morning morning a opens the newspaper the diamond ring which he was about to purchase was worth 5 lakh 50000 still happy why not he should be happy he only paid 5000 for the uh, contract he has a right to execute he will take not every friend he will take maybe few friends he will take chalo bhai leke aate hain ring he will go to uh d still he is in profit of 45000 by entering into this contract yes he is still in profit of 45000 because he paid 5 lakh uh, 5 lakh 5000 total he will spend but he will get something worth of 5 lakh 50000 d again poor fellow is obliged to execute contract pe uska naam hai so he lost 45000 by entering into this contract if he had not entered into contract he would have not lost you would not have to give away something 550 now he again rewinds morning a opens the newspaper the price is 5 lakh 5000 of the ring already a has given 5000 on first so if he would have not given that 5000 in the on the first of december anyway he had that 5000 5 lakh he had to give and uh, he would have had that ring so effectively if he goes and takes it from d he has not profited anything from entering into the contract 
Do you agree with me? See, ultimately, the diamond ring costed him five lakh five thousand rupees. The cost of diamond ring is five lakh five thousand rupees. So, so Swati is saying, but five thousand, he is not five ring itself is five lakh five thousand. The net outflow from A's pocket is five lakh five thousand. Five thousand he paid in the beginning. First, को दे दिया था वो and five lakh rupees. Now he is giving so he. He is giving five lakh, but overall for the diamond ring he paid five lakh five thousand. No profit, no loss. For D also it is no profit, no loss, right? So <clears throat> he has he is also at no profit, no loss. uh i i uh, nowadays it is not cash at all okay this is good question that at obligation to execute does he need to pay cost of 5 lakhs first and then he will get 1 lakh 95000 uh, okay so i'll come one by one uh ajay is asking that at a obligation to execute does he need to pay cost of 5 lakh first and then he will get 1 lakh 95000 imagine this in this scenario in this way ajay he went inside the shop of mr d he paid 5 lakh rupees he picked up the ring from him took went to the shop nearby and sold it for 7 lakh rupees so he he will get a gain of 1 lakh 95000 from this previously 3 years ago this entire thing was cash settled in india options was cash settled that means he does not have to pay 5 lakh rupees to get the ring and sell it in the shop nearby and get 1 lakh 95000 rupees ka profit this was true 2 3 years ago where the diamond merchant itself will give him 1 lakh 95000 ki ye lo bhaiya tum jeete लेके जाओ बट नाउ यू हैव टू टेक द डिलीवरी सो कमिंग टू योर क्वेश्चन अजय नाउ यू हैव टू टेक द डिलीवरी यू विल हैव टू पे फाइव लैख रुपीज यू विल हैव टू टेक द डिलीवरी ऑफ द अंडरलाइन एंड देन यू विल हैव टू सेल इट ऑफ इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक एडवांटेज आफ्टर एक्सपायरी बट बिफोर एक्सपायरी यू कैन एग्जिट वी कैन कम टू द एक्चुअल निटीग्रिटी लेटर बट नाउ on expiry this is how the transaction happens that is the answer of ajay mali now for swati but in before slide 5000 was not included in the capital right so 5000 was not included 5000 a has given already d to d correct swati he has already given now on 31st how much money he will give On thirty-first, how much he will give? Five lakh. So total, how much he has given to D? Total, कितना दे दिया D को? How much he has paid already to five lakh five thousand? So he has spent five lakh five thousand, and on thirty-first also the cost of ring is five lakh five thousand. है ना सो ही थिंक्स यार अननेसेसरी आई एंड आई वेंट ऑन द फर्स्ट पूरा गाड़ी का डीजल विजल जलाया पेट्रोल जलाया उधर गया साइन किया कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक महीना वेट किया बट नथिंग नो नो बेनिफिट राइट सो ही हैज ही डिडंट गेट एनी एडवांटेज फ्रॉम एग्जीक्यूटिंग द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नाउ लेट्स से द रिंग प्राइस इज 5 लाख 4000 He has already paid five thousand. He has right to execute. Even if he goes to the merchant by entering into contract, he is losing one thousand rupees. Right? If he had not entered into contract, he had to pay only five lakh four thousand, and he would have got the ring. This is the time when the merchant starts earning. He will earn one thousand rupees because he got five thousand or five lakh. Then he will get. Now the price is five lakh rupees for the ring. the buyer he has a right to execute if he goes to that merchant he pays 5 lakh rupees he has his whole full 5000 rupees is waste so by entering into contract he lost 5000 rupees diamond merchant 
gained 5000 anyway this fellow was coming with 5 lakh rupees so he gained 5000 so he knew that the diamond price will not go up so he gained 5000 rupees now let's say a opens the newspaper and the diamond price what he was about to buy that diamond will cost only 4 lakh 30000 the price actual price of the diamond is on 31st is 4 lakh 30000 he has paid 5000 to the merchant now tell me will he go to the diamond merchant pay him 5 lakh rupees and take the ring others okay arnav is saying no sunil is saying no satish is no why he will go see contract is with him that paper is with him d does not know where a stays what is the name of a what is the address of the a what is the neighbor's name of a so he does not know anything so d cannot come to a ki nahi nahi give me 5 lakh rupees a has the contract he has the right to execute if the diamond ring is 430 he will as well disappear he will tear off the contract throw it away go to some other uh, shop and buy the ring so by entering into contract even if the price went down to 430 all he lost was 5000 merchant d was <coughs> having obligation he knew the price is anyway not going to go up or it might go down he knew he this fellow might turn up might not turn up at least by entering into contract he earned 5000 rupees from this contract so this is how it works so few points to notice can i say with this example and that is what is true also that buyer of call option has a possibility of unlimited profit but a limited loss can you see that the buyer a a was the buyer of call option so he had a possibility of unlimited profit but limited loss yes seller of call option had a possibility of unlimited loss but limited profit because even if the diamond ring went down to 4 lakh rupees all he will earn by entering into contract was 5000 rupees or the premium collected for the contract okay now <clears throat> so contract expiring worthless so if the uh, the buyer of contract does not turn up let's say the price goes so down that the buyer of the contract will not come it is not exercised it is not exercised it expires worthless okay uh, rajesh is saying when the price is 4.9 no but why it is lost for the 75k for the buyer he has not paid 5 lakhs why he will go to d he will not go to d he will go to some other shopkeeper he will throw away the contract d does not have a contract correct d does not know who is a he only took the premium correct so buyer does not have to go and pay to d he can go and buy from somewhere else at 4.3 so he still saves lot of money okay so contract expires worthless when the contract is not expired by uh, exercised by buyer it expires worthless option trading is buying and selling of right contract expiry is contract execution day normally because exchange will say was aisa nahi ki you will write any date on your contract like we understood last week also uh, the contract execution is last thursday of the month Uh, so every last thursday is the uh, where you put the date on the contract that okay i'll come on last thursday and execute call option we have understood call buyer pays the premium to buy the right for buying an underlying at a great strike price on contract expiry day call sellers collect the premium and is obliged to deliver the underlying at the strike price so call options we have understood call options is buyer pays premium to buy the right of paying agreed strike price uh, for contract expiry day call options buyer on expiry gains when the underlying price goes below call option by ah, yeah, he gains only when it is going above the 
uh, his price and the premium uh, when the price actually closes above he will gain buyer is gain unlimited uh, max loss is limited to premium paid uh, call option seller he takes the premium obliged to deliver and maximum gain is the premium collected at the money current market price contract is atm we have understood uh, okay so we have understood uh, what is options trading so this is what the options trading what is the premium what is buy call option what is sell call option contract call options strike price atm profit and loss possibilities for buyer and seller for call option so we have understood this concepts for options can i have yes from all of you if you have understood this yes this concept is new but can i say can i have yes from all of you if you have understood this concept of call options okay great so apart from this you have to understand delta gamma theta and vega and rho are going forward so i'll not go in that detail today i'll just show you how to see at the options uh, okay now going to uh, nsc website okay you have you should be well versed with the nsc website this is the nsc website what you have to do is uh, let's take reliance normally reliance is a <clears throat> reliance industries okay now when you type reliance industries you will have equity so this is the price it is given for reliance open high low close i think everyone should be using uh, this website uh, you should be aware of this website there is lot of data in this website and it has got the most authentic value also uh, whatever you want to see so you type reliance you have reliance industries and you will see derivatives so let's click on the derivatives as we understand uh, it's a future and options then click on options chain so you will get this options chain this is the option so there are lots of strike price we will cover sometime later uh, the strike price what is the strike price so these are the strike price on the left side is the call world which we have understood as of now and uh, right side is the put world which we will be understanding in the next week what is a put and what is a call so we have understood what is a call and in reliance 2520 right now this 2520 strike price if i click here what it means is the current price of reliance share is 2530 the strike price 2520 so someone has entered into contract today and thinking that it will go up uh the close price is 33 rupees 90 paise so someone is thinking that reliance price will go up beyond 2520 plus 33 so it will go beyond that so they have paid the premium entered into the contract for 30 june which is two days uh, from now which is risky to do uh, but still there it is there and someone has sold so he thinks that it will not go up so this is how it works so this is uh, how options is there my suggestion is go through put call go through some more knowledge and then uh, enter into the world of uh, contract right so yes ajay uh, put will be explained next week because we have limitation of 1 hour uh, uh, to take with then uh, we will try i'll try to take example of uh, delta gamma theta week also subsequently so i hope everyone enjoyed today everyone understood some concept of options what is options trading yes okay great so great thank you so that's the end for today uh, that's the end of the session today i hope everyone enjoyed some new field has opened up for you for earning money in stock market we will cover put 
and then i will take you through some more aspect of options before you can uh, read some more and uh, think of trading in options so thank you so much thanks for joining uh, see you on next tuesday thanks a lot